What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing Thursday. It's probably almost over for you. Congratulations. I'm jealous. I get a little softball game going out tonight, 6.30 to 7.30. Going to try a new batting style, to be honest with you. Just not feeling the way I'm standing right now. As soon as the game is over, I got to shoot up to the airport. I got a buddy flying into town today. I got two more coming in tomorrow. He lands at 7. I'm probably not going to make it till in the 8. He's going to have to sit in the airport for a little bit i hope he's not too mad about it i think i'll be all right he's on vacation who can be mad about that but in this video we're going to talk about bitcoin's next move we're going to look at the charts because i told you before and i'm going to tell you again charts do not lie you just can't pay attention to the time frame on the bottom but if the patterns play out in the charts you're going to get the expectations that we are all looking for waiting for the same things apply to the xrp charts it just takes a little bit longer with xrp we're gonna talk about the fed cuts david speaks that's right david schwartz the one and only speaks about the xrp ledger and xrp the bottom up approach we're gonna go over it we're gonna go over something else on that cft cft token that i have uh i have discovered i have come up with that you know i'm gonna share with you because i told you i'm gonna be sharing information with you as we find out things we're gonna talk about grayscale and what they're doing and why Grayscale is responsible for this Bitcoin dip. And we're going to talk about the Ethereum ETF because guess what? It's not happening. Who would have guessed that, folks? Without further ado, let's jump into it. Bitcoin, $40,135. It's currently down 0.31% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum coming in at 2227 It's down 0.75%. USDT and USDC both coming in at $0.99. Cents. Not where they should be. But all is well in the crypto hood. XRP, 51 cents. Total cryptocurrency market cap, $1,580,000,000,000. Now, folks, if you didn't sign up for the newsletter, this was supposed to go out last week. But with the amount of people that signed up, I had to upgrade my email service because I was over the limit. Sign up for RippleVanWinkle.com. It's below. It's free. Click on free crypto advice. It drops you to the bottom. Put your email in. You'll get an email to confirm it back. Apply it. You're on the list. This thing is going out today. This morning, mark my words. I got a doctor's appointment at 11. I'm going to try to get it out before 11. Everything is upgraded on the back end. It's already typed up. I just need to take the emails, throw them in there, change a couple of things. Bada boom, bada bing. It is coming flying off to you. So you still got some time get it going get signed up bitcoin's next move i updated my pin tweet bitcoin's next move to correction as i said it's basically over we're recapping this because if you didn't listen to the first video i don't want you to miss out on this my corrections are my predictions have been spot on they're going to continue to be spot on mark my words and they're all highlighting in my pin tweets from here on out we're just going to see small pump and dumps along the ways we might get a push down 10 to 15 percent that would be max Max hurt. I don't think we're going to see it that deep, but then the bull run's going to begin as we approach the halving. Egrad Crypto says, You can't read my post from Bitcoin 573 days ago, August 2022. He goes, Will the fifth touch be different? What is he talking about? Oh, there you go. There is his chart. There's the dip down. As I stated before, these charts that are put out there, TA works. TA works. It's just the timelines at the bottom. You can't line them up perfectly. All you can do is see the patterns and what in the pattern. If the pattern sticks that is being put out in front of your very eyes, if it plays out, it's going to come to life. There you go. Bitcoin holds above 40,000 ahead of the US GDP. 5.8 billion crypto options expire. It states down here. Focus on expiry. On Friday. At 8 UTC, Bitcoin options worth $3.75 billion and Ether options worth $2 billion will expire. The world's largest crypto options exchange, accounting for 85% of the global activity. As we approach tomorrow's options expire, it's clear. The market is steadily recovering from the initial shocks of the ETF introductions and GBDC unwind. Notably, call put skew has been increasing from an early low, indicating a shift in market sediment. That's right. But you know what's interesting about all this and i know i got something up here oh where is it where is it do i have it i don't think i have it pulled up right here grayscale 
They have moved more than 100,000 Bitcoin to the exchanges since the spot Bitcoin ETF launch. You want to know the reason that the Bitcoin price is going down and it's dragging the rest of the market? You want to know who you can thank? You can thank Grayscale. They are responsible for this, folks. Write it down. Mark my words on this one. If Grayscale wasn't dumping, we would be just fine. But when Grayscale is done selling Bitcoin, you know what's going to happen? The markets are going to go back up and they're going to absolutely explode. And Grayscale is almost done selling. And then the markets are going to have a crazy ass reversal and they're going to pop to the upside. Ripple's David Schwartz. He talks about the bottom up growth on XRP Ledger. Schwartz spoke to the protocol about the aftermath of Ripple's SEC win. His method for dealing with XRP rabid fan base, the XRP's level controversial approach to centralization and more. As we scroll down, he was asked a question. Now that the SEC's case against Ripple Labs has been resolved, have you seen greater adoption from banks and financial institutions? He stated, I think institutional adoption of blockchain technology, specifically institutions interacting on blockchains, has been slow. I think there are a number of blockers there with things like sanctions, screening, and so on. But institutional adoption of technologies where the institutions aren't as tightly tied to the layer one tech is growing rapidly. RippleNet settles with XRP with digital assets. And those digital assets move on the XRP ledger. And so, in a sense of institutions are adopting the ledger, but they sort of isolate it from all things that makes institutional adoption of these blockchain technologies more difficult. When institutions are trying to take advantage of the ledgers, features like the DEX, these there, that's the blocker that regulatory compliance is very challenging for them in that environment. Now that the adoption we've seen on the XRP ledger has been enormous, there are more than 1,000 projects. There are new stakeholders like the XRPL Commons. There are hackathons, but that is infrastructure from ground up adoption. I don't think we're seeing as much top down adoption except of the tokens at the institutional layer. Very interesting from Mr. Schwartz, would you say? But it's weird because we know central banks are building on top of the ledger. I think he's trying to say that they're building on the ledger, but they're trying to distance themselves from holding the token. I think that's what he's going to say. But we do know if they use the token or if they use the ledger, that the token will be used. But the question is where is the usage of the token going to actually come from now we talked about the ctf token in the initial video of the day and i got my my whole ticker wrong here told you i was going to do a little bit more research into this and we were going to cover this so first thing we did look at the twitter page healthy following healthy retweets healthy likes we know they are currently undergoing a pre-sell for the token they have about five days, four day, four or five days left on the pre-sale. We look over at their focus. You can see a roadmap, healthy, straight to the point roadmap, interesting, keep your eyes on the post-launch uh, token security audit. Market brand is coming as well, major players into the game. We see that they actually had some coverage right here back in the early January as the crypto trading fund, the name of token, had a 5,000% increase. Question is, could this still run? It could, right? It could. This is like getting into a project early and if the project the, uh, is able to deliver on what they promise and they are able to have a marketing push, you can definitely see this token go up in price. Definitely something to keep your eye on, especially as they're looking to do something with passive income as you earn 1% on every single blockchain transaction. It's a very interesting concept. Make sure you head over to the website. I'm going to link it below. Read the white paper. Understand what they are doing and how they're going to get there, folks. DJ Peter Boss put this out. ETF. Or actually, we're going to skip the ETF. He says Ripple. This is about a Ripple lawsuit. One lawsuit is over. And I don't remember this lawsuit, to be honest with you. GCC Remit, Ripple sued them in July for failing to fulfill payment obligations of 40,000 XRP transfers worth over 15 million. Do you don't understand? 40,000 XRP transfers worth over 15. I, I, I have 40,000 XRP. Is mine worth over 15 million? I don't know. That lawsuit's done. They came to an agreement. That's what I got out of that. I mean, it is what it is at this point, you know what I'm saying? But it's but it's done. And then I'm trying to find, and I thought I had it up, right here. US SEC postpone BlackRock spot ETF for Ethereum. 
we knew this was going to get postponed. But the question I want you to ask yourself is why is the Ethereum ETF being postponed? We've seen all the news that just recently came out how Vitalik and Joe were involved in funding the hackers' wallets that hacked that exchange for a crap ton of Ethereum. We've seen all the corruption. We know about the disguised whales, the, the hidden buys. We know about all of it. Why would I just, that doesn't make sense to me. But it says it's the 45 days of March. This might come out. We heard from Brad Garlinghouse. We we're probably going to see other ETFs this year, perhaps XRP. I'll tell you this right now. XRP gets an ETF. Forget about it. Institutional money is going to come in. Bada beam, bada boom. You want to break away from Bitcoin and being stuck to Bitcoin and following Bitcoin in every single move. You put a little USD to XRP ETF contract up there. You bring in that institutional money. That thing will break away so quick. It looks like you never even see anything before. That's how fast it's going to break away. I do believe an XRP ETF is coming, folks. I really do. Is it this year? I don't know. I don't know. I wish I had the answer. I wish I had a crystal ball. But what I do know is that XRP, it's going to make an all-time high. This bull run is going to be something like you have never seen before, folks. Just have some patience. It's coming. Wash your damn hands. Be nice. Be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.